Okay, so today I'm gonna be adapting this Leica Hector P2 to an EOS EF mount, which is this. And I'm gonna be using this, which is a 3D printed helicoid. And I'm gonna use this, which is gas. And some screws, of which I've just lost one. Let's see if I can actually find that. Okay, I found the screw, so what I'm gonna do is it's bit simple. Let me just show you this. So this is gonna be filmed on my E4K, which I just bought, and it's pretty nice for video, I'd say. So this is the like mounting coupler thing, the bayonet mount of a Tamron 8200 mil from this parts box which I have right here. That's my EF to Sony mount adapter. This is the P2 I'm gonna be adapting, and it goes in pretty nice with this new. 3D printed mount, just go in. Oh shit, just push it in. Make sure it's straight. Oh shit, this thing's fell off. Just push this thing back on. So I'm sticking this with some, what you call that? Nail polish. Yeah, nail polish. Literally nail polish. So it's gonna hold this thing on while I like screw this thing in. Also, in the same time, it's gonna act as like a what you call that thing? As like a uh what you call that? Like the light leak like what you call that? Like the felt that they usually use for like light leaks and stuff like that. So this is gonna just push in. Move smoothly. I'm gonna put like a small pin on the side right here so that I can actually like thread I mean like yeah, you can actually use the threads to like focus in and out on this thing like this. In the future, this is my second adapting. Okay, so this is my second time adapting the the Leica Hector V2 to mirrorless. But in this case, I'm actually going to adapt it to the Canon EF mount, not the Sony E mount. So if you want to see the Sony E mount one, you can actually go on my channel, and I'm gonna have a video. I mean, I have I have a video on that one version, but with this video, I'm only gonna do the EF one. So. Let me go find a little stand where I can put this thing. Let's put this thing on a contact so I have a doctor like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this is gasoline by the way. Put the lens away. I'm gonna use this to heat this thing up, which is the screw, before I actually put this thing into the screw threads on the on the what you call this thing, on the bayonet mount. So that they actually like suck like sink in a bit. Not suck in a bit, but sink in a bit. Then I'm gonna use a solder to like push the whole thing down in. So, oh shit, we like that. Okay, I'm gonna use this thing. Just don't do this at home, cause if you do spill this stuff, you're actually gonna burn your whole house down. So, I'm not gonna do that, hopefully. And I'm gonna open this flame up. Oh, this thing's good. There you go. Now you go and take this thing and heat this thing up. On this open flame. <clears throat> now flame's dead. Let me go try and push this thing into the plastic. There you go. Hopefully it sticks. Then you want to press this thing down with a small screwdriver. And hope that it sticks. There you go. Now this screw is stuck inside, so I gotta blow the top vapors off of the bottle. Let me open the door. Cause I actually do need ventilation for this. If you don't vent the whole thing out, you're gonna end up with your room like filling up with carbon dioxide and just dying. So just don't do that. Then you can actually see that this is in there. Next thing is the second screw, so I'm gonna take the second screw out. Turn this fire on again. Oh shit, it's dropped my screw. Now 
And also this is getting pretty hot I think. I can start and like push the second screw into the hole. Just like that. Then do the exact same thing as the first one. With like the screwdriver and just push this thing in. It's pretty good. Then I'm gonna start the third one, yeah? So Close this thing. This I do not recommend at all, but if you do want to see what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing at home right now. And <laughs> um, if you do want to try this method, try it. If you don't, then I'm not going to blame you, obviously. Then stick this thing out. And let's now take this. If this thing actually, oh no, you don't want to burn your screwdriver because I know some of you might be like, why don't you just burn on the screwdriver? The screwdriver is magnetic and you don't want the screwdriver's magnetism to like die off because then you like not be able to like pull anything on it and your life will just get harder and harder. So. Just don't burn your screwdriver. Then. This is the third screw. That's more or less it for the fire. Then let me go push this guy in. Can I stop? You can actually push screw in. There you go. Nice. Then the last screw. Now I hit the top bit multiple times so that it just extracts all the fumes like when you pull your head off the air just comes out and so that actually preps it for the next round of like catching flame. Then let me go take the last screw out. There you go. And let me go prepare this hole. Now let's set this thing on fire, then I'm gonna go and burn the screw. Wait, wait. This last one did not go to plan. The flame is not long enough. If you don't have a long enough flame, your screw's not gonna like stick inside there and you're gonna like lose it, so... Wait, let's move the vapors like build up. Shit, no, my light is dead. There you go, nice. Big flames, then just take this to the flame. Flame's dead. You can go push this guy into here, yeah. There you go. Then you can go push this screw on the side of the plastic. Nice, there you go. Now the next step is that you wanna use a solder. So you don't want to use this gas because you can't really burn the screw right there. So let me actually see if I can actually still see this. Okay. So next step is to use the solder. <clears throat> and not smack my camera because I know you heard this like huge thump just now. And if you can, find like a plus tip on this thing so that this thing actually threads in the Phillips screwdriver like head. If no, then like press it down manually like this. Just enough such that the screw goes into the bayonet and does not stick out. Just like what I'm doing right here. So push it down until it goes flush into the bayonet. Next one. 
push this guy down flush there you go last one nice now you might have solder from the soldering iron just flick the solder off because you're not going to use that yeah see just flick it off then by now you should be okay to like mount this thing on a on an EF mount so if you want to look at this this is my Comlite to EF adapter and let me go show you the first mounting attempt on this thing there you go it's locked in okay and so let me go show you um Actually, the video is not 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 finished. Um, I still have this, which is a pin, right there. I'm gonna be using this, which is one of the guide rails on the Tamron 18 to 200 mil helicoid. So this all is like from Tamron 18 to 200 mil parts. I'm gonna use this with the same method as I used this. I mean, I made this work with like the solder and stuff like that on. This to make the helicoid for the lens. So let me go show you how it works. First, you wanna keep an eye on this, which is the mark I've made for the helicoid. So the helicoid, you want the thing to actually go under this line, this height. Cause when you set this thing in, you don't want the helicoid to like bottom out in this thing, and so it doesn't like go in fully, but only sticks right like this. So you want it to be a bit under this highest pieces line. On mine I put it around here so that I should be safe and let me go show you how I can do this. So first you want to use the same gasoline method as just now. Go use this and this has the point which is Phillips. Okay nice. Let me go and use this to light the gas. Let me go and grab holding this first and then I can light this thing up. Shit. I hope this actually works. Let me go try and see if it actually works. Good. See if I can shake this thing up to actually work. There you go, nice. Then we could hold this guy. Flip still. Nice. Now this is still wobbly, so you should <coughs> get the solder and go slow on this thing oh shit that means I need to like <clears throat> heat this thing up again and so let me go and respark this flame and hopefully actually drive it a bit deeper inside there so Good. Shake the light up. Now I'm going to push this thing back down in here again. And then let me go get a screwdriver and like push this thing in. There you go. Push it in till you find the plastic actually like dooms out a little bit on the inside. Like a little pimple, then you're done. So you try using the solder. Wow. 
Ja, det er sådan, at du skal gøre, at vi kunne tjekke, hvis det er sådan, at du skal gøre det. Åh, chef, hvor Okay, så... We're gonna be waiting for that, so we can heat up. <coughs> While it does heat up. Let's try using this technique, but which I... Heat this thing up. With fire. Let go. And then push it in. Cause this should also work. Now oh, the plastic has some kind of like dough on the inside. Let me go see if you can actually see this. Like it has this. Wait. Let's see if you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, actually see, but you should be able to see. Wait, let me go close this gasoline first. So this can really see. I think yeah. This is right here. You can see that, that little shiny bit right there, that's a little doom that's gonna be interacting with the helicoid. You don't want that thing too big, cause then it'll just like get stuck on the helicoid. So let me test out this small doom first. Now it actually works, see? So you can screw this thing in and out, and this thing doesn't like focus by pushing and pulling. At this point you can actually... Oh shit. You can actually take the screw out by screwing it just like this. Now you can put so look, you can just leave the screw in there and let the thing go because it actually is now what you call this thing? A screw mount. Now this thing is not the strongest of the helicoid, so that's because of the fact that the the bulge in there is still a bit small. See, that's a bulge right there. It's a bit too small. Let me go in and enlarge this thing a bit. And let's call it a day right there. So, let me go in. See, it's up here. A little bit bigger, let me go enlarge this by a little bit more. And I'll start just try and push this thing manually. Okay. Now this should be perfect, let me go check. Now it is perfect, so work it on the lens. I think it's actually a bit too, what you call it, a bit too tight, which means that I've pushed in a bit too much, but it should be okay. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you liked it, and consider subscribing if you liked it. If you didn't, then do anything you want, so thank you and goodbye.